Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, <laughs> I thought I would do something a little bit different with you. We all know I love a bit of Zara. We all know what I'm buying from Zara at the moment because, spoiler, there have been so many hauls lately. I know, I know, let me live. Anyway, today I thought I would do something a little bit different and talk to you about the things that I am not buying off of Zara because the homepage is a real treat right now, let me tell you that. I said it in the Zara haul that I have recently filmed, but I don't know what is going on with stock at the moment across all brands. It's weird, it's weird AF. It's not what I'm used to between like the August, September point. Now, obviously I pre-film things. So by the time this video goes live, the homepage is gonna be looking maybe a little bit different. I don't know. I wish I had future vision. Is there a word for that? I don't know. I would love to know by the time this video goes up what the Zara homepage is going to look like. Will it have coats? Will it have bikinis for next summer? I don't know because there's some weird stuff going on at the moment. Normally by this time of the year we've got like at least a few coats kind of appearing but I haven't seen so much of that this year. But regardless I thought I would talk you through the you know the things that we all see and kind of go like huh? And the things that I see and I'm like scroll right past because I'm like I'm not even entertaining putting that in a video because what the hell is that? So without further ado, I have my laptop and we are gonna go through the things that I am not buying on Zara. So I'm gonna get the Zara homepage up for you guys. Can you see it? Is it here? Smashing. First things first, we have faux leather shirt with belt. It's not bad, it's not bad. Is it gonna be comfortable to wear? Most likely not. Most faux leather stuff, it's not comfy. It's very rare that you get something that is super, super comfy. And Zara is definitely a brand that I think is very hit and miss as to whether like a leather shirt, shirt dress, sorry, would be comfortable and breathable or is it gonna be absolutely suffocating and I'm gonna wanna take it off like straight away. Also, it's a dress. The length on me is gonna be questionable at best. I could get it and it could be absolutely fine. I could get it and it could be past my ankles, so. Definitely not buying. Faux leather blazer, very Balmain-esque. It's not an absolute no, but it's definitely not a purchase, so I'm gonna keep scrolling. Check trousers, cute, but no. That trench coat, gorgeous. Gonna be way too long on me, absolutely not. Limited edition asymmetric trousers. Who wants, sorry? Huh, asymmetric, doesn't that mean like they're not? Oh, okay. That is a real trend at the moment, having that whole like, you know, the button isn't in the middle kind of vibe, you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you see? That's gonna be a thing. I kinda like it when it's jeans. I don't know how I feel about the trousers. Either way, they're gonna be really long on me, so I'm not lying. Lovely trench coat, gonna be really long. That skirt, I definitely think my mum used to have a skirt like that. And that's what I'm gonna say. That coat, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think I have it in the white from last year. Love it, love it. Do I need it? No, I have a version from All Saints and I love that, so don't need it. That skirt, that's cute. Uh, these shoes are very 90s. Not in a good way. The faux leather trench coat, I would love, I would just love it if it wasn't leather. Like why is it, why is everything leather at the moment? If this was last year, I feel like I really would have been into that vibe. I really wanted, this is what I've wanted fashion to be last year. This year, this is gonna do absolutely nothing for me. Actually, leather trench coats, leather coats in general are horrible. If you sit down in them, you like slip. If that was a normal material in a white, oh my God, I would buy it, I would buy two for no other reason other than the fact that I like it. Just kidding, I would obviously not buy two, that's excessive, no one needs that. This dress is cute, uh, I don't like paisley print, I really don't like paisley print, but I'm actually having to like stop myself from buying this dress because I don't know why, but it's really being sold to me, even though the model looks like she wants to murder me. Like, she, look at that face. She wants to murder, she's, <laughs> she's gonna kill you in your sleep. <laughs> I can't, anyway. Anyway, animal print shirt. Definitely not, that was like, in three years ago. I can't with these shoes, what are they? No. Oh, those shoes I like though, the green ones. They're cute. What is this advertising? Like I always look at the pictures and I'm like, but what am I being advertised right now? I see, a shirt. Really, I'm like, is this beanbag for sale? Like, what is this? I don't know. Now this, I my, my eye goes to the shoes. This is not an advert for the shoes. This is the jeans. I just wanna know where the shoes are from because actually I kinda like them. In a really grandpa way. Corduroy shirt, no. Nah. Why double up on the shirt? Really, I'm still looking at this and all I wanna know is where those shoes are. Like, I want the link, give me the link. Yeah, another situation where it's not an advert for the shoes. That shirt, no. Basically, the majority of my time on the Zara website is spent like 
no, 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 no. I scoured the entire website and that is how my Zara hauls actually come to fruition is I have, I have literally scrolled the entire website. I have scrolled through the dregs. The shirt again. And still with the shoes. I want to know where the shoes are from. Animal print velvet leggings. Absolutely not. No. What is this animal print obsession at the moment? It's not even nice. I'm not even being like fake meme right now, you guys. Like, I know this is a things I'm not buying from Zara, but this is what I am genuinely like scrolling through the Zara website. You wait until you get me on Netaporta one day because that is of me just screaming, like screaming. God, they really love a quarter of a shirt, don't they? <laughs> this asymmetric dress interests me. What is this? I feel like I bookmarked this the other day, but didn't actually like look at it properly. Let's see. That's just a no. That's not going to look good on anybody. Quilted crossbody bag with buckle. These bags look like the bag version of when everyone was wearing pillows on Instagram in lockdown. That's what these bags are. Safe to say, definitely not buying. Not even in the orange colour. These cross strap flat sandals, I actually, I love. I love. I mean, I definitely will not be wearing them with socks, but they're cute. They are cute. They were another pair of shoes that I saw the last time I was on the website when I was actually doing a shop for my Zara haul. And I was like screaming at the website, like show me the shoes because they were on all of the models and they weren't like actually linked anywhere. They weren't on the website yet, that is why. So maybe the green ones will turn up for me at some point. Hang on, hang on. Wow, I wanna see how these are styled. Hold please. Huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so these are sold out in a small. These are sold out in a small. Who bought these? Please, if you bought these, can you let me know? Because I want to know how you're wearing them. I don't, I don't understand. High waist, beige pink, semi-sheer, leggings with an elastic waistband and flared hems. Who is wearing these? I think we have a winner. I, I could go on for hours with items I won't be buying from Zara, but I'm fairly safe to say this is probably like the winning item that I will not be buying. Flared tool leggings. <laughs> I want to buy them just to laugh at myself in them. Also, I, lo I love this like photography trend of like the floating t-shirts. It's just, it's everything. It's up there with like the women on the cookers for me. It was, that was a great time in fashion. Hold the phone, I want a link to this bra. Like what is, that is the most like 90s things, or not even 90s, like 2000s thing I've seen in a really long time. I mean, she says with the world's most 90s hair and makeup, but this is the 90s. What? What? Well, give me the link to that. I need to see it up close and personal. I also want to know how much that's going to cost. It's not our website at the moment, it's wild. I'll give it that. It's definitely like, it's a treat for me to scroll through. I'm thoroughly entertained at all times. Yeah, we've got a lot of autumnal colored t-shirts. I will let those slide. I have no issue. I have those trousers, I I can't, will definitely not be buying. Obviously, I just need to disclaim this. Obviously, I'm not buying these. I don't know how to style these things. So it might be that actually, if you own these and you are rocking them, you are way better at like styling and fashion than me. It's not to say that like anyone's taste is bad. It's just, I am incapable of making these things <laughs> look good. Like brown corduroy trousers are never something that I'm gonna be able to make look good. And I'm okay with that. I make my peace with that. There's probably, some really snazzy women out there that would look absolutely bomb in them. Sadly, I am not one of them, so, you know. And if anyone has a problem with me being negative about Zara, if you work for Zara and you're about to be in my comments, being like, eh, you make more than enough money off of me, just saying. I'm just really interested now, to be honest, to see that sparkly bra up close. I need it. <laughs> it's not even funny, people will take me seriously. This here, most JR Fashions thing I've ever seen. I feel like JR Fashions might have just been a Brighton Thing. If you know what I'm talking about and you're from Brighton, please comment below. I feel like JR Fashions could be different things in different places. So it could mean different things to different people. But if you grew up in Brighton in like the 2000s, let me know if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's reminisce. <laughs> All I need is a pair of bootleg cut trousers to go with that body and we're in business. <laughs> we're back in the 2000s. Hold the phone. I think I love it, but I hate it. But I love it, but I hate it. I mean, I obviously was a sucker back in the day for when the sausage dog shirt. I've mentioned this already this week, but I was a sucker for that shirt. I don't know if I'm brave enough to have that in a dress. 10 out of 10 would not buy. I could not, I would not look good in that. Imagine. Imagine. There are some girls that would look so cute in that though. And 
I am not one of them. Oh wow, okay, so we've got it in blue in shirt form. We've got it in a non-color, which kind of like helps. Are those elephants? Oh, that's kind of, it's kind of cute. Would not be buying, but it's kind of cute. Oh, that top of the front and the back is kind of cute. I would de definitely would not buy it. It would not suit me. I'd look like a doll, like one of those little like, things that's going to kill you. Yeah. Interesting. Sweatshirt with shoulder pads. Definitely not. Oh, we're looking very like 90s here. Very 90s, very 2000s. Do I like it? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, now there's just a lot of pink going on and that is definitely, definitely not my colour. Whoa! We could have a second place. Oh, wait, is this a first place? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Green tiger slash animal print shirt with knot. Ooh. Definitely not buying. I will not be able to rock that. Oh, it comes in a dress. I don't know which one I hate more. I would not look good in that. I would not look good in that. Snakeskin trousers. Definitely not buying. I can't. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of animal print going on right now. Whoa! They do the leather trousers in red the faux leather jogging trousers come in red i put that up there as like number like top three of things that i'm definitely not buying red is not my color it is not my color draped crop top in a fuchsia pink snazzy to do my best simon cowell it's a no from me no Whoa. <laughs> Gathered satin dress. No, 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 no. Would you? I just don't think that would look good on me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All I'm saying is I don't know. I'm not sure on that. No, no. Oh, they've got a bodysuit version of the pink crop. Now, as a bodysuit, I would say absolutely not. If you're doing an editorial shoot and you're using that as a swimsuit, cute, really cute. But I just, I cannot, do you know what I think it is as well? It's the colours. I cannot rock colour. I can't, I, I can't, I can't. And I'm okay with that, you know? I am okay with that. But dear retailers, dear Zara, please make all of your colourful things in a neutral because I will buy them. I love a bit of 90s and 2000s as much as the next person. So you could just... Also, yes, this scroll rate is the rate of... Oh, the phone, I almost... <laughs> I almost missed these faux leather trousers. In lilac. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how bad I would look in those. There's a reason those are in full stock. I'm just saying. As I was saying, this is the speed at which I actually scroll the Zara website. Like when I do my hauls, just know this is how used I am. Used I am? Words. This is how much I'm used to the Zara website because I can scroll at this rate and know what I'm looking at. <laughs> that dress is cute. I don't think it would look good on me, but it's, I like it. It's cute. I like a ribbed kind of like body comfort. You know, God, I feel like, I feel like we're hitting the dregs, but that white top, I want to know where that white top is from. Well, I obviously know where it's from, but I want the link to the white top. Oh, yes, little tip. Always scroll, oh, oh. Always, always scroll to the bottom because that's where the similar items are to the ones that they've started with. And you can find good things. Oh, I might have to buy that top. It's cute. It Will it look good on me? Maybe not. Well, I'll find out. You'll see. <laughs> if you see me wearing it, you know I liked it. I feel like now I'm just seeing some of the same items over and over that I've already seen because what Zara do is they re-photograph. Oh, the jewel top! I've got it! Coming soon. It's not in stock yet. It's either flown off the shelves. I doubt it. Or it's not in stock yet and they've been styling it with stuff which makes far more sense. Wow. Will you be buying the jeweled top? I need to know. 
How would you style it? I feel like I've got some friends who would absolutely rock the jeweled top, so I'm not gonna shade it because actually there are some of my mates that would look unreal with it like layered over like a cute grey kind of like whitey denim shirt. Oh yes. The twins could rock that 100%. 100%. I have a feeling I could have hit the dregs. Oh god, I'm just seeing so much, so much like zebra or whatever it is print. Miscellaneous animal print. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I am done. Oh god, now we're in yellow. We're in the yellow section. Uh, do you know what? I kind of like those lace up boots. kind of like them. I feel like I've scrolled so far back that I'm now in like summer 2019. Oh, cute. I'm gonna, this is not meant to be me shopping. See, this is why I'm not allowed to do the info boxes because then I just end up shopping. It's it's not good. It's not good for my bank balance. It's not good. Oh my God, I really like that. Okay. Uh, mm, no, don't need more like, don't need more knitted sets. Don't need more knitted sets. Uh -uh. Bought enough, did not get enough wear off the first set that I bought. So keep scrolling, Suze, so keep scrolling. I definitely had a skirt like that like two years ago. Does anyone remember that? I feel like I have officially scrolled back to like spring 2019. So this is where I'm gonna leave this video and it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I kind of wanna go and buy those long sleeve tops that we just saw. Nothing to do with that whatsoever. So that is gonna be it for things that I am not buying from Zara. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've never done anything like this before. So let me know if you would like to see designer editions, other retailers, multi-retailers. Let me know. I'm here for it. I feel like it's a nice change to spending all the money and spending none of the money. Do let me know. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you back for more videos. I hope you're all having the best day and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.